they weren't doing the things you were doing, Takashi, right? And they still ended up dead. So what difference does mm -hmm. it make? Mm -hmm. Daniel Hernandez, aka Takashi69, is one of the most notorious rappers of the current generation. It seems that he has cracked the formula of staying in the limelight without having much of a talent. He was the rapper that no big rapper would have felt threatened by lyrically. So he decided to start the fights with them by dissing them first on social media platforms. That way, when they'll retaliate, it would give him enough content to write lyrics. 6 9 is the rapper that clearly doesn't have any boundaries, and this is why he isn't exactly on the good side of any rap group. In this video, we'll talk about what it is that Takashi does that makes other rappers a bit scared of him. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Obnoxious Personality One look at Takashi and you can guess he doesn't like being subtle. From his face tattoos to his rainbow-colored hair, everything screams an in-your-face mindset. Rappers usually have an intimidating personality that's almost a prerequisite for this job. But even then, the biggest rappers didn't have to try this hard with their appearance. As much as he wants people to be scared of him, his antics just make it impossible. The crowd in Minnesota got so agitated by him that they started throwing bottles at him while he was performing. Takashi and his web of lies Just like how Takashi's appearance is all about trying too hard, so are his stories. Earlier rappers were all about being tough and macho, almost to a toxic extent. But today, even the hip-hop community is addressing the issues that have seemed to gain global attention, and one of them is the importance of mental health. While some rappers genuinely want to raise awareness about this issue, other rappers like Takashi only want to jump on the bandwagon. He said that he's been depressed for a long time. It started when he was 13 and his father got murdered. He always tried to blame others for his own wrongdoings, so much that he once suggested that it was late rapper DMX who convinced him to tell police the truth. DMX never got a chance to reply to his statement since he passed in April 2021, the same month 6 9 came out of jail. While in jail, Takashi also took part in a mandatory mental health program, and when its report came, he was deemed completely fit. That meant whatever he said about being depressed was a lie. Rapper's Views on Takashi Since the news about him cooperating with the police has come out, no rapper wants to be associated with him. Rappers like Meek Mill, 50 Cent, and Future have called him a rat. He didn't do himself any favors when he tried to drag DMX's name into his mess. It rubbed everyone in the hip-hop community the wrong way, and they quickly jumped in to call him out on his lies. But due to his deal with the police, many rappers don't want to be his enemies either. 6 9 has been an insider for a long time, and he must have dirt on everyone since they belong to the same industry. He also uses these things in his songs and lyrics, have been used often to put rappers behind bars. Reputation as a Snitch In 2018, Takashi was arrested by the NYPD, for his involvement in criminal activities that were done by the nine Trey Gangsta Blood gang members. His charges included racketeering, illegal firearm possession, and drugs distribution. The list of his crimes were enough to put him behind bars for life. Despite showcasing a hard exterior, Daniel didn't even try to defend himself and pleaded guilty to get the lesser sentence. The law officers knew that Takashi wasn't the main mastermind behind the gang. He was a member of no significance. Locking him up wouldn't have given them much benefit. They decided to give him a deal of cooperating with the prosecutors about telling them everything that happens in the gang and also testify against his fellow gang members. Takashi saw it as the only way out and took the deal. He told them everything and got leniency in return. Daniel broke the street code in a big way. He gave officers the names of big guys like Harv and Nuke. He also revealed the identity of rappers who never publicly admitted being affiliated with the gang but actually were a part of it. Hiding in Plain Sight after Takashi told him everything he knew, in his own community, he started being known as the snitch. Even the prosecutors warned him about staying alert, since his own gang was now plotting against him. They even advised him to leave music and go into hiding. But Takashi said he won't leave music. He might have the smartest mind of them all, because after coming out he stays in the limelight, as it would put his enemies at a bigger risk. He's a known face now with millions of fans, which means he's never truly alone. Because of his cooperation, the police were able to arrest some of the most dangerous criminal minds, so he only got sentenced to two years and a $35,000 fine. He did his time without causing any problems and was out in April 2021. This is also a reason for him to keep trolling other rappers. This way, he also keeps their fans engaged with his content. Going into oblivion would mean the end for him, as he's already not well-liked anywhere, so he decided to use that hate against him and become a bigger personality. Because of his name-dropping habits, many rappers try to avoid him as they don't want sensitive information about themselves to get leaked. Feud with Meek Mill Meek Mill is one of the brightest rappers of this generation. He's the kind of rapper that true hip-hop fans are always excited to listen to. 
When Takashi got arrested due to his involvement in crimes related to drugs and gun violence, Meek made a video that commented on the whole situation. Then the word got out that 6ix9ine has decided to cooperate with the police in exchange for protection. Meek made a video again to warn him about the consequences of his actions. Since then, both of them have been at each other's throats. Once they even came close to a physical fight when they bumped into each other at a parking lot. But then Takashi's guard came between them. After this, both made videos trolling each other and even released diss tracks. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below which rapper should we talk about next. Let us know your thoughts on the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.